So <clears throat> we have more, uh, you can see the next PowerPoint, which talks about the giving a little picture of AMA. We talk about that. Result from the heavy diet and poor digestion from Pachaka Agni or any other Agni also. When you are, your Agni, your digestive fire is not able to digest 100%, then only you make AMA. We are making AMA all the time, but we eat spices and ginger and all those things. So then it gets better and better. Ama Visha, you see all those when that ama is sitting in the physiology and then they get fermented, decomposed, then they become ama visha. Garbisa is coming through all those industrial pollution, chemicals, heavy metals, and if there is any mercury in the kids' vaccination, you know, all those kind of. It's a very good to understand these all four kind of toxins separately. Then this is Indra Bajra Bijanya Visha from all these microwaves, radi you know, radiation, cell phone, ele electrical appliances and etc. Then <clears throat> we are going through, come to this Tri Tattva, Panj Tattva and Six Rasaj. This is very interesting chart. How these, how total unmanifested Adi Tattva becomes Tri Tattva, Soma, Agni and Marut, then becomes Panch Tattva. The contemporary Ayurveda starts from this Panch Tattva and how that Panch Tattva manifests as a six taste. Giving you the whole picture. Six taste is a physical manif manifestation. You really taste it. But they have connection with the Pancha Tattva, liquid soma, physical soma, you know, you know, liquid soma, solid soma, fire air in a space which has origin which is originated from Soma Agni and Marut and Soma Agni is Marut is originated from Adi Tattva. So this is the connection between the ultimate divine vibration to the manifested vibration which we taste in day to day life. Why you have to know Adi Tattva also? Why, why, why we have not starting everything from three Tattva? See, wherever you see the a specific A, Adi Tattva is all over in its own identity. The Whenever I am talking about a specific vibration of the A, which is origin of Om and origin of everything. So Adi Tattva is there in every, every material, every Drabhya in its own specific form. Of course there is, there is Tri Tattva and Pancha Tattva, but that's why when you taste lime, the lime is tasting sour, Lemon is tasting sour too, but the lime and lemon has different kind of specific vibration of the A. Ah. And that specific vibration of the A ah is always there in a specific memory into the, all the materials independently. That's what hundred bitter material, bitter drabhyas are there, but they have their specific identity. Trillion human beings are there, 
but they have their specific identity because the specific vibration of the A is independently on that person. Let us go to the point of this connection of the taste. That's why lime and lemon as both are sour. In this kind of description you can see that sour taste is from fire and water. In general, all sour, all amla is made of fire and water. It's a good combination because water has a soma. Water needs some fire to transform to ojas or kapha or any other material of the body. So it's a blended in water and fire blended in in one taste but again it's a general classification then to understand lime and lemon we have to always understand always keep in mind that a specific a vibration is different in lime and different than lemon that's why this logic of general Ayurveda and logic of a specific principle of Ayurveda is that. Now you see the sweet taste is a mistake here. Sweet taste corrected the sweet taste is earth and water. Yeah. Yeah. So there is a mistake in the chart the sweet taste is earth and water See, as you see, the sweet taste is full of soma, earth and water, liquid soma and solid soma. How it makes practical sense? If you are eating too much sweet, what happens? Water retention, weight grow, giving more weight. Because you are having lots of soma, earthy and watery, solid and liquid, you gain weight. Then what you do? In terms of materia medic, in terms of drabiguna, what you will do? Or oh, you are gaining weight? Ask how much sweet you are eating. Or anything which is converting to sweet, vipaka is sweet. Then you say, okay, now you have to eat something agnaya. The diet you will give more, you know, ginger or black pepper because you need something to give some agnaya. And then again, you have different, different kind of sweet. What is the difference between the raw sugar, the evaporated sugar cane juice? And white sugar. I know everybody has the answer. White sugar. Of course there are a lot of physical material is gone from there. But what is gone from there the mostly? In the process of processing and cleaning or whatever. What is gone? The A is gone. The specific A, which is the gift of Adi Tattva in the sugar cane, which being lost, giving the white color. 